So this episode is powered to you by uh, Accelerate Fiber, Tanya Mukwanya Inc. Attorneys. We've also got Mashabela in this one as usual. So if you want to live the uncapped lifestyle with fast, affordable, reliable internet connectivity, only at Accelerate Fiber. Uh, just click the link in the description below to apply. That's hashtag Accelerate Fiber Uncapped. Are you ready for uncapped Wi-Fi? Do oh, fiber. Please, I'm on the fiber. You are, uh, it's fast because you're using it. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're using to upload the episodes? <laughs> no, it's super fast. It's super oh, fast. super fast. Yeah, I'm on 100 megs, so it's good. Ooh, yeah. upload speed. I mean, download speed. Both. Aye, aye. It can't be. I'm but 100 you. megs is super fast. And that's download speed, I know. That's super fast. Yeah. And that's all you need, really, to stream like properly and in HD and enjoy yeah. good content in HD. Yeah. yeah. And if you need an attorney, make sure you check out Tanya Mukwane Inc. It's a prestigious, interactive, and reliable law firm that is uh, able to handle your legal matters for you. Their services include civil litigation, contract law, family law, uh, notarial services, trusts, and wills. For your legal matters, Contact Tanya uh, Inc. on WhatsApp. That's 68 279 You can also visit their website on www.tmiincorporated. No, it's tmincorporated.co.za. Ah, mm. tmincorporated.co.za. Yes, mm. to book your consultation. You might need one soon. And maybe after this episode, you might need to call Tanya. <laughs> hey, who's coming for us? <laughs> we never know. Hey, but we never know. Evil Try. spirits. Evil spirits. <laughs> <laughs> That's lawyer. So who do we call? <laughs> Our lawyer. <laughs> Also, in uh, closing, we're coming at you live from Mashabala Studios. If you want to use the studios, just email podcast at mashabala.ca.za. Yeah. And big shout out to my Ash for the clean car. Oh, 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 oh Ash, oh. yo, 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 which one is the swat? Yeah. I feel like a different man. Yeah. Thank Check you, out my Ash. Ash. Uh, the link uh, to everything is in the description below. Man, we are back. Oh. Back on your back, yeah. Yes. Oh man, how I miss the studio. Yes. Sure. I miss you guys. You oh, did, man. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. What did you do on your weekend off? Oh. Yeah? Hmm? She's, she's so lucky, bro. I haven't taken a weekend off in like three years. Bro, the yeah. whole year I haven't taken a, a, a weekend off. You haven't? No. Oh, no, I get time whenever we have like these branches. Yeah. And then you guys are going to record there. And then I'm like, you know, I'll take some time for myself. Branch off somewhere. Yeah. What? Where? Where was I? Oh, it was a long weekend. I was in Nelspreet. Oh, did you dance from Naga? No, no dancing. <laughs> I I I told us that we could have moonwalk. Yeah, like tap dance, you know, <laughs> like, tap yeah. dance, yeah. anything. Hey, but hey, you missed out. Pulukwani was what such happened? a vibe. Pulukwani was beautiful, man. Is it? Beautiful. Listen, listen. The brunch, the brunch was a mess. Like it wasn't the best brunch we've done. Like the actual show. Hey, yeah. we were dying, bro. We were dying. Did you see tr- me trying to save the show? <laughs> hey, I was dying. Bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> and then I keep looking at the side. I'm like, hey, save me. Talk, save me. Yeah. <laughs> save, save me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> you could hear you see that. It's like, help me. I don't know. I need help too. Yeah. But you know what, right? We're getting there. Yeah. Um, You're not a crowd person. I'm not a crowd person. Yeah. And we do it for the chillers to get out of our comfort zone. Yeah. And we're getting there. I swear on our like, 10th branch or something will be flying. Is it? Okay, you know, so Pulu- you just need to do more. Yeah. Saul drove to Pulukwana just to say, hey, man. That's all he said the whole, <laughs> hey, the man. whole episode. Hey, hey man. man. <laughs> hey, man. The whole in one. Hey, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> and complain about the Pulukwana water. That's all I did. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's oh, wrong yes. with the water? It tastes like this. It's, it's a bit salty. Obviously, the people that are used to it. You know what happens, like, because when you're from an area, water is different. Tap water is different oh, yeah, elsewhere. No, it is. I'm yeah. pretty sure Nelspruit as well. Hey, that water is, is 
It's different. So what's the solution? What do you think about the branches? Because obviously we got to do them for the chillers. We have to do them. But for me, it's like, yo, I'm not, it's so uncomfortable for me because I don't like crowds and stuff. Solution is, and also I, I have noticed some chillers, and it's warranted, yeah. they don't enjoy the branches when they watch them because they expect the normal Monday show. Mm. So I think the solution is, before we go to the branch, Let's clap a show mm. and then we can upload two shows. Oh, upload the yeah. branch and then we do the normal three o'clock oh, show. So the branch is like another edit uh, segment. Yes, yes, another edit uh, thing. Yeah. It's like a vlog. Uh, yeah. A little extra vlog. Yeah, like, po- yeah like we did in Cape Town. Remember, we uploaded some stuff that mm. we're doing. Mm. We're doing Cape Town. Like, I mean, he went uh, diving. And so, yeah. Yeah, okay, you're right. We could do that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Because, hey. hey, we're dying. Hey, man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what happened during the trip? How was oh, it? Oh, it was nice, man. Beautiful. Fuck, it was, it was beautiful, mm, man. Sure. Sure. What did you enjoy most about the trip? What did I enjoy most about the trip? I was in the road yeah, or yeah. when we were there? Yeah, when we were there. Oh, you met my uncle. Your uncle. Met my uncle. Oh. Hey, oh. Dude, so I met his uncle, right? Oh, okay. what a humble guy, wise guy, like very wise. Wow. Yo, yeah, his uncle is rich, rich, rich. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> then I Googled him, and I'm like, oh, Flip, he owns these buses. Like, everyone in South Africa has probably seen uh, 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 your uncle's buses. Yeah. I won't say the name, but you've probably seen <sighs> them. Because yeah. when I Googled them, I was like, Oh, these buses. I've seen these buses all over the country, man. <gasps> he started off with two buses. Now he's got like 320. 320 what? buses. Mm. Nice. Mm. That's like the old dude. Yeah. The only other thing that's had as many coaches in South Africa is Bafana Bafana. <laughs> <laughs> 320 coaches. And he only started with like two. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And, and he was saying, people thought he was crazy when he said, I want to get to 150 coaches, have 150 buses, though, like you're nuts. And today's got. Look at, look at, yeah. yeah. It's insane, bro. And our driver, guy. our driver, the guy who was driving the H1, did you know that he, he drives for Wajola 99? Oh, for real? Yeah, he's oh. Jujub's driver. So he's a chaser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Jujub's driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, he Do drives. Do you know Jujub's numbers? Because we want Jujub on the show. Yeah, no, Jub Jub, we've been trying to get him, but I think he's recording in Durban now because they have like a um, uh, 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 studio that side. They frequent that side now. Oh. oh. Yeah, but we'll get Jub Jub. Yeah, it's oh. just that he's busy, but we'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were saying there's a lot of cheating in Eastern Cape and KZN. That's why they had to set up shop that side. <laughs> 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 Most of the requests so are from Mr. King. <laughs> how can men are behaving? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was telling me sometimes they leave in camp like the whole day waiting for the person who's meant to be cheating, whatever, to imagine. come out and stuff like that. It's crazy. Ooh, and Ooh. the person can see that I've got company. Yes. Ah. And they carry guns. You know the securities that uh, Jube Jube, that protect Jube Jube? They have guns, bro. For real? Yeah, because apparently it gets crazy. No. Guns, guns. Yeah. 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 No, they have guns and guns. Yeah, yeah they've got yeah. all sorts of guns. guns. Arms and arms. Yeah, they are armed. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he said, like, when they drive in their H1s, the white ones yeah. in Eastern Cape, yeah. as, as, lo- as soon as there's two of them, uh, wherever they stop, people start running. <laughs> It's that cheating capital. <laughs> flip and run when you see an H1. Yeah. <laughs> run. So, would you go back to Pulukwadi, bro? Because it's oh. the first time, no? Yeah, 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 definitely. I'll go back. Yeah. 10 liters of water and I would have fun the whole weekend. <laughs> I'm sure you can still buy water from that side. That's what I mean. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, f- oh yes. yes. So you don't have to travel with water no, from Houghton. No, we need to go there. back, dog. We need to like, do something at your uncle's... Uh, 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 Plot, no? Plot, yeah, yeah, man. Like for chillers and you oh, know, nice. like a, uh, an event. Maybe in December. Yeah. And we can play. I'm playing now. Are you? I'm taking gigs. I'm, yeah. Oh, hey, no. Oh, hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> I play. And, 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 and how many gigs have you gotten so far? Um, I've got two. Wow, that are pending uh, approval for the next two weeks. So nice once one. the projects are in, I'll let you know where I'm at. Where, where what, uh, what genre are you gonna be playing? Because piano is fire right now. Yeah, I'm bro. playing piano. I'm mm-hmm. playing. I'm playing music, bro. I'm playing. It obviously depends. I'm not one of those DJs who's gonna say I only play this. So I will play piano if I get to a venue whereby the the crowd permits, you know, mm. the event permits. Yeah. And if I go to a hardcore 
venue with the heads, it's Father's Day. I'll play what's appropriate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. I've, I've, I've DJed before. Come on. Yeah. yeah. So if you're in Bulukwara, yeah. make sure you check out Irex uh, Lodge. That's that's the lodge where my yes, uh, yes, yeah. yes. Oh Clarex's nice. Is a lodge. <laughs> check out Irex, man. Irex. What do you guys think about Fresh's interview? Ooh, <sighs> Fresh's interview. It got yeah. people tweeting, eh? Yeah. Um. It was dope. I mean, I was in the interview, so it was dope. Yeah. Like, it was, it was a great interview, and I think you asked some questions that were uncomfortable because a lot of people were expecting you to be on his dick. Mm. You know what I mean? And because because I'm a fan, you're a is, fan. Yeah. All, of his I'm work, a fan. of his I'm work. A, yes, mm. of his work. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm. Not of him. <laughs> hey, that's a good question. <laughs> hey, I don't know him that well to to distinguish whether I like him as a person or not. Because okay. I think last week was the most amount of times he called me and I called him in in yeah, all my last life. Last week there was yeah. a lot of interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, you know, every, it's not a secret. Everybody knows I love his work. I mean, yeah. fuck, it's amazing what yeah. he's done. Well, I'm, I know the guy personally, and I know well. I've I've been his colleague and and and, and a mate. And I know what I know about him, and I love what I know about him that I've interacted with, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. What did you think, Ghost Lady, yeah. of the interview? Okay. Um, on my end, mm. watching it, I really like went through the whole two hours and more. Mm. And honestly, I did feel there were times where it was just a bit. Mm, I wasn't too sure. Mm. And it's, it's, it goes back to this thing of you know I I watch people and you see you see your eyes they say that your eyes are the window to your soul you mm. see through a person mm. Mm. and for me he seems like a broken man sure. but it's broken by things that he's done Ooh. so I just there's there's a sense of I just no I I enjoyed the interview I'm happy that you went there you would ask all the questions and really. Did your parts. So you believe the allegations? It's not even just about believing the allegations. It's there's just the manner when you now a person starts opening up and talking and there all these allegations are put forward like forward to you. Mm. And the way you answer and there's things that you are saying and it's like mm, mm. it just doesn't add up. Mm. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not I, I'm not I don't know, I, I can't say I can read people's minds or I'm a medium and all this, but there's just something where it just gives you the kind of like your spirit doesn't. It's but not I also satisfied. think it was a missed opportunity, eh, on his behalf. How so? Okay, how so? Mm-hmm. Like I think he could have taken that platform to just come out and just be honest. You know what I mean? To be but like, what if he was honest? <sighs> yeah. So you basically now saying you think he was not honest? No, I think like if he had done, you know, the stuff that he's accused of, that was a good opportunity to show remorse and be like, "Yo, guys, I did one, two, three. And this is why I did this. And here's how I'm going to overcome it. If, you know what I mean? Like su- such, those things did happen. Mm-hmm. I think that opportunity was the best. Hey, talk. Okay. So you're saying that outside of the particular incident that obviously blew this whole thing up. Yeah. If he's done other ish, if yes. that this is innocent for, and yes. he's done other stuff, yes, yo, okay, fair enough. You get what I'm saying? Would you do that? Yeah. Mm. The thing is, what I've seen with South Africans, mm. they are uh, 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 um, are forgiving. If they are you... forgiving if you own your shit, mm. like me and my gambling. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Like 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 Cabello. When we recorded Cabello, you said that. Um, he wants through a bottle at a woman, whatever, mm. and he's not proud about it. And, you know, he's very remorseful and would never advise anyone to do that, that kind of stuff, you know? And that stuff didn't trend. Yes. Because it was like he's admitting to it. Yeah. So no one can attack him yes. for it. Yeah. But when it seems like everything, when there's an allegation, there's this, hap- one, two, three happened. And from your end, it's always deny, 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 attack, you know? Therefore, that's why I say it ends up like something just that never adds up. Mm. But rape, hey, bro, it's a serious crime, especially mm. now with the current climate in the world. You know what I mean? So, and it's not just about fresh. It's, it would be a noble thing for anyone who has done that to come out, but it's probably very difficult. Mm. It's probably very difficult, right? Uh, because now, let's be honest, 
especially if you, you still intend on being in the public eye, you're gonna you're gonna get labeled a rapist your entire life because mm. you've admitted to it. Mm. You know, so I think it's a very difficult thing to do. But I agree with you hundred percent. It would be a very noble thing to do if mm. you did it. Mm. If you have committed, because I'm like you, I'm 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 for owning your shit, and people always say. Cause, and also it helps other people own their shit. Do you know how many people, for example, inbox me almost daily? Guys, you know, like, oh, I've got a gambling problem. For real? Yeah, there's ah. another guy who, who, who inboxed me. Let me read the inbox to you. Mm. Um, I won't mention his name on Instagram. Or oh, you can even read it mm. on Insta. I'm here to respond to him. And there's another one on Twitter as well. Like, yo, guys, my, my life is crumbling. Wow. It's falling apart. You know, and that's the beauty of coming out and um, owning your ish, mm. right? Mm. Uh, check that out. Read from the top. All right. Listening to the podcast and chill with Fresh. How did you overcome your gambling issue? I have the same problem. It's killing me big time. Mm. And then Saul says, brother. And then the guy responds and says, I'm almost homeless. Managed to get a place to share, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Paid with borrowed money. Don't even have food. Still need to borrow money. Not that I don't make enough money, but it seems like... I'm struggling to stay out of casinos. Spoke to some counselor. They sent me pictures to all the casino I'm banned from going. But problem is, it's small casinos. And then Soul Blue ticked the guy. Um, <sighs> no, I want his number then. I'll just talk to him. Oh, you're responding here. You didn't say send. You said, bro, I've been there. Yeah. Mm, you, didn't, you didn't say, I didn't say send. send. Oh, yeah. shit. Hey, yeah, Insta's yeah. got memories. Oh, bro with broken hearts. Yeah. I've been there. So that's the beauty of owning your shit and actually coming out with it. Because at the end of the day, bro, we're all human. And we all make bad decisions at some point. Some are worse than others. And we all make mistakes. What's the most you lost when you were gambling? Yo, yo. The most was like 130K. You fucking <laughs> kidding me? That I had won. That I had won. <laughs> that I had won. Uh, and you couldn't and, just stop. At that stop. time, there was enough to fucking solve all my problems. Yeah, and you went back for more. Yeah, because like, uh, okay, now my problems are sorted, right? And you think you've withdrawn the money, but it's still in your account, online account, not bank account, right? The bookies account. So in your head, it's like, I've won this amount, but okay, now I've sorted all my problems. I'm back to zero. How about I, st I, I get a fresh start with another 200K? A fresh mm. start. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah, and then uh, within two days, how did you win the hundred? I, I remember K? Uh, sports, sports. Oh, so it's sports. Oh. Beats. I was never on slot machines, bro. Oh, you know I mean? okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, right. I had, the only slot I had was on radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I was never like on slot machines, casino like this guy, for example. I was just sports betting. Mm. It was horrible. And I know probably like people whom I owed or some who I still owe are probably pro go, motherfucker, you could have just withdrawn it and stuff, mm. you know? Yeah. But it's an addiction, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like any other addiction, literally. It's like any other addiction. Yeah, you and it doesn't saying? mean you're dumb or you're stupid or whatever, you know? Uh, it just catches you. Mm. So yeah, bro. So like I was saying, it would be great. But if the guy... As he claims, he didn't, then he didn't. He's got nothing to, this is fresh. Yeah. He's got nothing to come out and say and, 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 and admit to, mm. right? Mm. If he didn't, as he say, he didn't. Mm. 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 No, I get you. Mm. And then what do you think about the bougie and boity thing? Whew. Yo, it's sensitive, bro. And it's, I mean, very close to home. Bougie, we know Bougie. You know, mm. he's, he's family on the podcast network, Boiti. Boy, it holds a special place in my heart, you know. We're not. Oh, she actually she was she was one of the celebs that reached out to help you during your. I reached out to her and oh, she yeah. helped me. You reached out was, to her. Yeah, when I was down and out. Yeah. yeah, I reached out to her and she helped me. Like I remember, flip. I remember my granny had just passed away, yeah. you know, and I was a mess at that time, and I didn't want my family to see me like that. No mm. one in my family knew where I was, and I was just renting a small place in, in town and I was like, fuck, called her because she had assisted me before, mm. right? And this was the time when I was recovering, mm. you know, and when I said, yo, I need cash, I really needed it for, for what I said I needed it for. Mm. And I was like, fuck, I need to look good for my granny's funeral. And mm. I called her like, yo, I need help, you know. She's like, no problem. Wow. She said, like, 4K. Wow. Yeah, look dapper. Mm. <laughs> yeah. well, no, no, her family knew I was having problems. <laughs> like, oh, he disappeared, but he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next to Boiti. Wow. So she'll always have a special place in my heart. 
That's why when you during the broad said what you said about her, I was like, fuck. We tried as a I was like, fuck. You know, but now there's all these people, it's a crowd. I don't want to get into soppy stories <laughs> and who's are you? you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So Boiti is that person. Um, so yeah, bro. Uh, I don't know what happened. We all don't know what happened. Mm. We literally don't know what happened um, when the incident occurred. And you know what's crazy, bro? And I was with uh, her manager. Is it? Wednesday afternoon. Ooh, with Bash. Oh, Bash. Yeah. Oh, what a nice guy. Love yeah, him, love yeah, him, yeah, him, yeah. Him, yeah. Him, We're having uh, like lunch together, talking about something else. And okay. I, didn't, I didn't know that uh, incident had happened. I didn't like know. we never we never spoke about it. You never brought it up. I didn't even know that it wow, happened. Yeah, I only yeah. found out on City Press when Yo. you shared the article. Yeah, do do our our producer sent me. I'm like, oh, what the hell just happened? Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is fake news. I sent Bujia message. That's what I I'm thought like, brother. first. Yeah, just... I'm like brother, and he didn't respond. He still hasn't come online. I don't know if his phone is on him or not. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, bro. So it's a very it's sad. It's unfortunate that things get physical, even if it's two guys, even if it's two females. Violence is not never an option, bro. You know what I mean? Like I'm, 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 I'm a person who believes in that. You mm. know, I, I, I can't hit people. Like, and I'm also scared if, cause even if you're not a big person, I'm always overthinking things, always, mm. right? And to me, if Nell says something and I throw something at him, what if he's got an underlying head problem and I hit him in the wrong spot and he dies? Mm. Mm. Right? There's a guy in Soweto, my old friend. Um, that's a guy, but he was a bit not right. Mm. And he was fighting with someone. And that someone hit him. I don't know with what in the head. Guy collapsed and died. Oh. So one of the reasons, I don't, I'm not a violent person, but I'm, even if I want to be, I don't. Because what if you kill someone, bro? Like, mm. literally. Right? And so, like, it's possible it's, that it's during it's that commotion. Very possible. Yeah. Simple thing. You, someone lands wrong after you Eesh, knock them out, dark, mm, light out. Mm. So, that's why, bro, it's fortunate whenever any incident between two people ends up being physical. Yeah. It's a thing of just controlling your temper. I think that's that's, the, that's yeah. easier said than done. Exactly. Me. Exactly. I know what mm. you mean. Like, it's how do you. But we are, it's your responsibility at the end of the day yeah, to control your temper. Yeah, you're protecting yourself. You're yes. Literally, it's, 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 you are protecting yourself by mm. restraining yourself because shit happens. And when it happens, especially in this instance, if you're like a big profile person, you know, and it's you also, know the It's also narrative. wrong as well for people who just instigates things, you know. You're an instigator in such, it's, it's sometimes that it leads to now people doing something that you you know how fights happen or how what any situation mm. it just goes to a next level but things start like and then they just escalate to such to and a place Tzana, where, you know Tana women are very feisty eh yeah but, uh, i mean yeah boy is is is, is Tzana, i mean strong character bro mm. strong character mm. strong person you know says doesn't mince her words mm. you know i mean we've seen that uh, on twitter mm. you know she doesn't mince her words she will say what she says mm. um and stand by her ground and that's why when she dropped that statement because i was talking to <sighs> some mates yesterday um and i was like yo you know um i hope i don't know maybe they'll reach an agreement Agreements, and, yeah you know, uh, you know out of court settlement somehow apology i don't know you know but when i saw that she statement, released a like, statement Ooh. what was the statement um well i've got it here actually yeah so it says dear all it is with deep sadness to state that i was indeed an unfortunate unfortunate victim of a vicious physical attack and that i have since opened a case against the culprits <laughs> which i am following with a keen with a keen interest I do not wish to comment on this matter any further at this time. I respectfully request some space as I try to find a way to heal both physically and emotionally from this traumatic experience. I have all the faith in our criminal justice system and implore everyone to stand firmly against GBV. Sincerely, Buti Toy Tulo. Oh, heavy, man. Hey. Yeah, but you know what I think, man. Whether you're a guy or bisexual or gay, whatever it is, there's no reason to lift your hands to a woman, man. There's Raise no your reason, hands but ever, I, ever. Yes, that's what I just said. Like, no matter how anyone, bad yeah. shit is, don't. People will push you. We know. People will say ish. People will, now, in the context of what happened, we don't know what happened. We don't know who you know uh, 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 was poking the other. We do not know what 
who said what, but it just should never get there. Should never get to the physical. Does All right, so let's call Bougie's lawyer, uh, Stephen Martley. All right, okay. It's a very sensitive uh, issue, this, man. Bro. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, yeah, let's find out, you know, what's going on, what's happening. Mm. 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 Hello? Hi, how are you, Stephen Martley? Yes. Uh, welcome to Podcast and Chill. Ghost Lady is here, Sol is here. Yo! Uh, I am Yo. here. Uh, so, yeah, man, we just wanted to find out, are you aware of but, uh, about what's been happening and uh, w- what's your comment? Okay, I am aware it's been in the social media, right? And uh, what what what's happening now? I got uh, the brief from my client Oposi, and I'm I'm still taking instructions as to what really happened. But at, at, at this stage, I can't comment on the merits of the matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I am aware. Of, of of what has been in the social media, mm. but um, as time goes on, because I'm, I'm I need to verify the allegations from yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, have have okay. you gotten a chance to talk to him? No, that's what I'm. I'm actually uh, on my way to talk to him because I need to verify what is that is with him because. He's not feeling well now because he doesn't understand which way is this coming from. So, I tell the client, I need to understand from him as a client. Because it can you verify the allegations? And if so, is there merit in them? So, I'm actually in my way to, to, to contact with him. All right. To Steve. verify what okay. is the, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your comment. Okay, then. All right. Take care, man. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, so he's about to meet his lawyer, essentially. Yeah, mm. uh, yeah, but yo, mm. it's crazy, man. Hey. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy, yo. Mm. No one seems to know what's been happening. Yeah, yeah it's true. all speculation. Right, right now, it's speculation. Yeah, there's but just a lot of things being said. Mm. So, we but definitely something happened because I mean, like uh, we read out about these statements. So, mm. yeah, I will see. Only time will tell, I guess. Only time will tell, bro. Definitely. Only time will tell. On a lighter note, how are your taxes, bro? My taxes? Yeah. My tax affairs? Yeah. I don't know. Ne? To be honest, I don't know. I remember when I was at five, so I was doing my whole tax thing, being an adult, I was at SARS, and I, so the guy was doing my things, I don't know what I was doing, updating some details, or registering something, and then I'm like, yo, bro, do you guys really see everything that we make? <laughs> and you come for us? <laughs> One day you wait, to, you wait like so me is watching my driver to pounce. <laughs> yo, when the cash gets to a certain amount, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Then I was like, yeah. For real. You see my things? I was like, yeah, I see. I don't know if I was shitting, yeah. was making me shit my pants or not, but yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. And yeah, dude, just sort it out, you know, because I was actively DJing then yes. getting gigs and it's mm. like now we see everything that wow. comes into your account even the events because it's all cash bro that comes no the cash they obviously can't see mm. I mean they can't yeah. see that mm. right but everything that goes into your account they can see mm. like oh we see everything and we know which company you own and its account we see everything mm. so I was like whoa mm. yeah. so that always lingers in the back of my head mm. you know like it's like oh, one day. Just how much does a tax man watch from Major League? How much was it? Just as these guys are making money, bro. Fuck also, the tax man is also, tax. is also coming for Euphonic now. Oh, yes. Euphonic! Yes, eleven Temba. million. Euphonic. Temba or Euphonic? Which one? Well, Temba, aka Euphonic, <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah, he failed to pay, to pay eleven Jeez. million. Eleven Yo. million in personal tax. Ah. Also making Perfect serious money. Checks, man. Major League is nine million. Nine yeah. million. Fuck. That's from the Major League Gardens. It's gotta be right. Ga- gardens, bookings, bro. Yeah, bookings. Gardens and bookings. Yeah. Definitely gardens. Definitely Yo, those bookings. Guys, those guys. So now, what do you do when it's like this? Do you have to pay the nine million or go to jail or what, what happens? You need to pay. You need to um, literally a lot of people because what they do is 
If you don't comply, they'll come and move some uh, and, and, and take some immovable assets. Hey, 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 hey. Coach Leo is here, by the way. Round of applause for Coach yeah. Leo. Oh, coach Leo. Oh, coach, <laughs> coach, coach. Well, what am I doing? You're here. It's a black Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you get Coach Leo? Yeah. <laughs> Coach Leo, please grab the mic then and, and tell us what happens in a situation like this. Because mm. Cabello went through the same thing and I think yeah. he paid. Ne? Yeah, I know you I know you can like sort of reach a, an agreement mm. or they can come take your things. Jeez, what happens, Coach Leo? You actually have to pay your dues. Whatever happens, you can negotiate the settlement and however long you want to take to pay it so that you budget for it because oh. obviously it's a slab right now mm. but at the end you have to pay oh ah, they've got enough gigs this december they'll be fine man yeah and you don't have to pay the whole thing at once right coach you, yeah i can yep. yeah you make an arrangement like any oh. person you owe you can make arrangements mm, how much is nine million in pounds i get a day out in london <laughs> <laughs> hey nine million in pounds yeah <laughs> Ah, it's, it's, like, half a it's like 500,000 or something. Yeah. yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah, man. they'll be fine in pounds. Uh, I saw Dineo nice. Ranaka. She confirmed she's now a Sangoma. How? Oh, Dineo? Yeah, she hit the calling. Jesus Christ, Dineo Ranaka. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow, man. wow, wow, Dineo. I think every second fortnight we come here, there's someone who's a Sangoma. But that's guys. great, man. That's yeah, great. You know, so. Yeah, man. Like that. <laughs> It's amazing because they're healers, right? They're yeah. here to heal people, to help people. So that's good. The more healers, the better, right? Yeah, oh, I'm going to tell you a crazy story, bro. I got a DM from Samsung Goma. This is my phone. Oh, bro. not you. Yeah, bro. Is it Auntie Pat or something? What's her name? She sent nah, me. That's the one I was talking about with, um, with, 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 with uh, Tibo Touch. For real? It might be. Yeah. Open it up. Yeah. yeah let, me, let me read you the, 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 the DM. Good day to you. I am Mama Helen, ah! <laughs> professional traditional healer, gifted with visions and powers to help and heal people with all problems. Someone in your family bewitches you. The reason why I'm contacting you is because <laughs> I had a vision about you with the help of my ancestral powers. We found out that you have a very big challenge with a lot of jealousy people and enemies, enemies around you. We are doing a lot of witchcraft on mm. you, using evil traditional healers to destroy all your luck and everything you have worked for for mm. a very long time. Yo. You're a very hardworking person. You achieved everything from your sweats, but people can't see that and they want to see you losing everything and suffering. Oh. Be aware they have sent evil spirits into your life and it has started moving with you everywhere. I'm like, oh my goodness, who could that be? And the podcast <gasps> is picking up. Yo. We're almost hitting 300,000 oh. uh, subscribers. Where do I start? Yo. Not lawyer. Not lawyer. Not lawyer. We are lawyer. Some lawyer in a flavor. Oh. Oh. Shut up. Shots fired. It's um, on me. Oh, <laughs> you dog. <laughs> yeah. So who do you suspect? Eh? <laughs> who? Who? Uh, eh? So when I read that, I'm like, shit, this person is right. I got so many enemies. It could be anyone. Mm. They play on that, bro. That's so, the exact same person that that uh, inboxed me. Yeah. I, I feel like that could be a new scam, guys. It's a scam. It's yeah. Some, some guy. It's yeah. probably a man somewhere. It's a scam because people know that. South Africans mostly are always like, you know, obsessed about that. Yeah. Mm. You know? Is it doesn't hambel gahle? Doesn't hambel gahle. People even Google Uba Nung Loya. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Right? No, there's no one Loya, bro. It's happened. It's life. Mm. Yeah. Um, this guy also inboxed me, saying the same lady uh, inboxed him. Check this out on Instagram. Oh, man. So, I got the same text, bruv. This kind of shook me because things haven't been good this year. But luckily, I didn't fall for the scam. Oh. The scam. But this could, it could be true for everyone. Everyone. Yeah, because we all face difficulties in life. Yeah. And we, sometimes we like, I've, no, I've never wronged anyone, you know, and why is this happening to me? Then your mind starts going there, you know, like the witchcraft and sorcery. Mm. Um, and yeah, then, yeah. And also, they're so good because I try to call, I was like, I'll catch them with true caller. Mm. Try to call. Obviously, call hang up before it rings, mm. and it says, "Mama Helen." On mm. true caller. So this up. is like a new scam. Mm. Yeah, it's a new scam because That's no one crazy, believes um, a Nigerian prince anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> with, with too much money, yeah. and he's trying to ship it out the country. Yeah. No one believes that anymore. But if you, 
if you 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 customize scams to people's problems and what they're actually going through, then uh, you'll that's casting your nets wide and you'll catch something. That's so, crazy, man. It's, it's fucked up, actually. Eh? Mm. It's fucked up because. But that's that's what all scams do, right? They play on people's desperation yep. and people's insecurities. Yep. Right? Oh. That's why people get scammed looking for money. That black uh, uh, note scam mm. where you meet someone who's got a black note and they're like, they've got this small liquid, they wipe it off and then it's money. It's 200 rand notes. Mm. Then they're like, I've got a trunk full of these things. And they show you the trunk and mm. you see the trunk. It's a trunk full of these notes. Mm. And then... They're like, but the problem is, the trick is this solution. It's rare you can't find it as a guy. Mm-hmm. There's three million in this trunk. We need 50,000 rand for this liquid and we'll clean this entire money. Yo. People go out there borrowing money. There's a girl I met. I'm telling the story because of someone I met. Um, and, you know, she was in Hillbro as well. Uh, away from her family also because now she's borrowed money from her mom, sold her car. And all these things. And the fucked up thing is she was still seeing these guys. So I don't know what to do. And now she needs to give 50K. Then there's another problem. She needs to give 10K. Then there's another problem. I'm like, but what's wrong with you? Sure. What's right? What's wrong with you? You know, like you're here. I was born when. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. Why? Because of the desperation for money. Last time I got scanned, I went to Western Area during lockdown. Okay. So I go to this Western Area, I had to do something with my, like, I went to the traffic department that side. <laughs> so I get there, and then I'm like, fuck, I'm thirsty, I need a beer. It's during lockdown. <laughs> so the bottle stores are closed. <laughs> and you know those car guards? The, the, it's the colored guys that side. Yes, yeah. yes. Those Western car Area, guards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, hey, dog, where can I get a beer? <laughs> it's like, I know there's a place around here, my bro. <laughs> Let's go, my bro. <laughs> All right, cool, get in the car. Ooh. So he gets in the car, he's driving me. Hey! Every kilometer is getting dodgier and dodgier. Oh, <laughs> He's already in the car. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm like, I fuck it. I ride with God, dog. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's like, fuck yeah. Some dingy place. He's like, wait here. It's like, how many beers do I? I'm like, I give me six. So I give him like 150 or something. And then he left. Went to some parkway. Phew, he goes. Sure. 30 minutes goes by. Ha. 45. Ah. Uh. One hour. You're still there. You're not telling you. <laughs> Look, I'm still here. <laughs> Waiting. After an hour, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. Let me go home. <laughs> I got scammed. <laughs> oh, he you took your money. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, that's better then, man. I thought it was going to bring... I thought it was driving you to, like, the lion's den. Yeah, no, dog. Fucked over. That was very dangerous. Very irresponsible of me. Alcohol. Yeah. Hey, that's how it does that. Because yeah. anything could have happened, dog. Yo. Anything. Could've... I didn't know that guy. I've never seen him since. Anything was brewing there, bro. Mm. Like you could have get gotten into some crazy mess. You could have been hijacked. You could have anything could have happened too. Fuck, that was stupid, Nick. No, very, that was dumb, very. Bro. Like yeah. you don't do that. You don't do that, dude. Uh uh-uh. uh. And the whole time I was thinking, if I can just get their hands on my beer, it's going to be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice you should be clear yeah. they only took like 150. People lose a lot of money. A lot of money. Like these scams are just, you get some men that try and fall in love with these women and then they end up asking for money. Women are giving, oh, it's crazy. Yes, there's no one been scammed here. No one's been scammed here. Yeah. Cat master. Nothing. 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 That's where <laughs> scamming was born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell her. Oh, 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 Cat oh, master. Are you a scam. scam. <laughs> are you a scammer? <laughs> 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 yeah, you're yeah, saying, you're saying. Yeah. Forgot now. What oh, are you saying? Yeah, yeah. Forgot. Have you been scammed? Um, but you're talking about the women uh, who get scammed. Small thing. It was a small change similar to Mac, right? Yeah. Small change similar to Mac. I forgot. This guy comes through. I was going to meet some guy, so I'm, I'm, I'm by his flat, and this guy comes through. I'm in Berea, right? He comes through, he's like, yo, Got this phone that's selling whatever, 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 whatever. I'm like, oh, cool, no problem, right? I was it a phone. I give this guy. He goes into some weird ass house, but I think it's like an abandoned house. And then ten minutes later, the guy's like, yo, dude, are you waiting for the guy you came with? Ah, he's gone. Came out uh, uh, the back side. <laughs> came out the back door. He's gone. Oh god. Oh god. Oh okay. But it was a small thing, right? Yeah. It was a small, like small amount. Yeah. Like fifty, hundred bucks. I don't know. It was for what, 
right? So that he can come bring. I was like, ah, fuck. That's what I get anyway for trying to buy things from a random guy, oh. right? Whatever. Mm. Yeah, but scam big time. You can't scam me. Like, big, big, you can't. Like, But you see, scams also come in big. Like, you see, like, let's say, for instance, you get the tendering scams. Like, a government, like, you get a, a, a tender. They say, oh, you've won this tender from this um, company. Well, you are the co- selected company. We just contacted you. It's some government department. And then there it is. But we know where the supplier, where you can get this, these items that need to be supplied. So imagine you pay the supplier that they've given you. Can't do nothing. It does not exist. Those are very prevalent yeah. right now with COVID. Yeah. Have you never gotten those emails Mm-mm. that you won a tender? Yeah. Mm-mm. And it's like, dude, CSD will never tell you the central supply database yeah. for all these tenders. They're not going to email you and say you won a tender or you've been shortlisted, right? It's in the portal where you're going to find that in your inbox or, uh, and people like very Especially if you didn't even bid for the tender. Now you just won a tender you didn't even bid for. Yes. That's what happened. Thank you. You didn't even bid. Like when I got that, you just Google. Google will help you, bro. You know, okay, Department of Health. You Google, okay, they've got the right address, but the number, you Google, and you're like, well, they don't even have the same extensions. Yeah. They don't even have the same prefix of the number. You know what I mean? Sometimes even the email even, addresses, it's like at Gmail, it'll be government uh, uh, defense gov at yes. Gmail. Yes, so, and when you go to the link, I remember once going to the department, it says uh, uh, labor, whatever department, I go to the link, it's a Wix website. <laughs> And it shows at the bottom, at the bottom where it goes loading websites or whatever. It shows weeks on the <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's easy to catch these guys out if you are thorough and like, come mm. on, guys. I know we're all desperate sometimes, you know what I mean, for a bit of money or whatever, but come on. The only tender I know is tender love by Mapuris and <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, the greatest thing from Pulukwani. I uh, got to hear Kabza's new song with Ami Faku. Mm. You heard it wait, Pulukwani. Where? Uh, my cousin was playing in Chafa. Oh, that song is called? No, Abalele is the old one. No, the new one. There's a new Something one. Something Simunye. Asimahel. Anthem loading. Oh, anthem. comes us back. Anthem loading. Ah, it's, it's not out yet, guys. Nah. It's not out yet. Woo, that I song. Happy. Nah, nah. Sim- oh. yeah. Anthem. Ah. That song's going to be, it's a summer song. Yeah. You can literally yeah. it's a summer song. It's going to be big. Oh, man. I heard that song also. Even Heavy K tweeted about it. Is it? Heavy K was like, Abalele is Big, it's, it's big, yeah. But this Asibe Happy is going to be 10 times more. So it's going to take over I, Osama. I googled it and checked it out. It's the different sound from Osama. Osama okay. was an off ramp. <laughs> People are like, hey, which one is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Asibe Munge is that destination. <laughs> Yeah, we are one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Osama is not groovy enough. <laughs> 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 oh, man, Zex, we love you. You know he's a chiller. Man. No, 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 Zex, yeah. we love you. Yeah. We love you. We love you. We love you. You gotta put a disclaimer now. Yeah, hey, 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 emotionally. Hey, hey, dog. Hey, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We, we, we love you. We love you. We love you know what I wanna do? Yeah. I think we should put a thing here, like a board. Of all the celebs who don't want to come on the show, we keep writing it. Oh, yes! Credit yeah. idea! Yeah. Start that next week. We'll start with Casper. <laughs> Casper's Amanda AKA. Black. Amanda, Amanda Black doesn't want to come on. Yeah, yeah, she said no. She said no. Oh, she's so vocal on Twitter. But you see, the thing is, we've never done anything to her. Like, we understand some celebrities because maybe we, we may have said something, whether it's your opinion or the truth, and they didn't like it. Yeah. And they're like, no, I'm yeah. blacklisting these guys. Why would Amanda Black no? I don't Black know. Blacklisters. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but you know like Top Gear when they had that board? Yes, yeah. of the scoreboard, right? Yeah. The yeah. fastest laps. Jesse Q. Yes, I am. That door operations. I am. That door operations. How are you operate? You <laughs> operate. I'm now we're sick. We need healing. That door operations. Please. Uh, something that's big right now. Have you guys watched Squid Game? <gasps> Yo, man, people are inboxing me to watch Squid Game. I finished it. I I've finished it. Though. It's, it's very sick. It's very sick, it's but sick. dope. Yeah. Is it? I must yeah. try uh, to check it out. What, what is it about without spoiling it? So basically, they get like all these low lives in, 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 in one 
Um, I don't know. Is low it an lives. island? Did you say yeah. low lives? Yeah, yeah low, low lives. Low like lives. people that don't have money and are gambling and. Hey, bro. Ha! <laughs> like <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like what? What? What do you say? We just talk about no, people no, I think... making mistakes. <laughs> yeah. In life. People making bad. Calls. Let me let me put it like this for you. So it's people who have made bad decisions in life with yeah. their money. Yeah. So yes. and obviously they just capitalize on that, and that's how they get these people l- lure you basically. Yes, because yes. you yes. play the game. You're desperate. Sorry. No, not low what? lives. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Not just saying we say sorry to the people, that some of the low lives who are chillers. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta start with who I see first again. All right, cool. <laughs> Let me, Home first. <laughs> you must start with the first low life you see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Low life. No, I'm kidding. What the fuck are you, man? <laughs> low life. Nah. You know the fuck I am? Don't do that again. <laughs> Nigga, yes, stop and do that. <laughs> Shit. Google I'm me. Sick. Google me, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm on the biggest podcast in South Africa. <laughs> Yeah, low life. He's, he's so used to googling Oba Nong lawyer, yo man. Yeah, no, 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 Hey, you explain. Hey, <sighs> no explain. wonder that no wonder everybody is telling me to watch Squid Game. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting inboxes. Like, hey man, you're reading all my inboxes on Insta today, right? Now I've been getting inboxes of people saying, "Yo, check out Squid Game." Squid Game. I'm like, okay. Mm. So what is it about, Ghost? Yeah, I don't want to fuck it up. Okay. Yeah. So basically, they go they go into this um who? island. Who goes there? No, the the people who have made bad decisions in their life. Okay. But it's such a, you have to watch it. Okay. They go there and they play games. And now it's all games that you've been... Like, you know, from your childhood. Yeah. Like, just normal, yeah. typical games. But the thing is, is that... Like marble games, tug of war. Tug of war. The freeze. Red, red, red light, green light game. Give freeze. Give freeze. Give freeze. Yeah, give yeah. freeze. Yeah. Okay, so they play these games for what? Money. For money. Okay. There is a lot of money that they could win at the, if they finish the whole games and they survive. Basically survive. Whoever if you survives. lose, you, literally, you you die. Mm. You are shot out. Mm. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. But for me, I feel like this game, it has just such like, it has a whole lot of life lessons. I feel it's like, like Hunger Games. If you watched Hunger Games. But yeah. a better version. Oh. Uh, so this guy in box moves and like... it's Korean. Like, yes, the guy in box moves like, it's, a, it's Korean, just be open-minded, but you usually are. So if you want to go down a bit of a rabbit hole, then uh, this shit uh, will take you there. It's shit that kind of happens in North Korean prison camps. Yeah, yeah I think it's That's true. This is yeah. Big Mo, Big yeah. underscore Mo underscore 86 on Instagram. That's what his inbox. Wow. No. But North Korea then, I mean, we know uh, that country. Remember when the, uh, the guys um, had a horrible tournament Football tournament, mm, I think, at the mm. World Cup or Olympics, and then they went in in public, and they were hurled insults by just random yeah. uh, public um, members of the public for losing. For That's losing a whole soccer team. For losing, you can't do that to people. Yeah. But it's North Korea, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's. But do you know how big K drama is in SA? K K drama, like the genre, like this Korean Korean, Korean yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. In SA, it's big. It's yeah, big. I remember yeah. I had I know a K pop. Yeah, yeah, which is the huge, huge. music. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I remember I had a meeting with one of the guys at Netflix and he was saying it's the most viewed in the country. Yeah. But that's South K-drama. Korea though, right? I don't know if it's North or South, nah, but K-drama South. as a whole, Probably the South. genre mm. is massive. For like sure. it's the, yeah, because this show is the biggest show Netflix has ever had. Yeah. yeah, but Korea make some of the best game shows. Like game shows on TV. Mm. Like, like their TV is amazing, bro. Like they, they, they kill it. Mm. They're amazing. They kill it. There's another Korean film that I like. Is it called Parasite? I know no. Parasite. That Ooh, love Parasite. Ooh. Everybody was huge on Netflix like two years ago or a year ago. I just couldn't check it out. No, I it's a never, movie. Yeah. I think it's on, I, th- I think now it's on Netflix as well. I never, it is on Netflix. Yeah. I Parasite. can tell you for free. It's, it's been on Netflix. Yeah. I have never checked it out. But there's another one. There's a big boy where the guy wakes up and is in the room. He used to be an alcoholic. And in this room, he doesn't know how he got there because it passed out and they put him in this room mm. and they keep on playing. Like the TV randomly plays and... They keep giving him food, and it's sort of like it's an incredible movie. It's wow. actually Big Boy. It, it, I need to Big watch Boy, it. a little boy. You can Google it. I'll Google yeah, it. Yeah, but it's amazing. Like okay. it's an amazing. So he's a midlife because he's just an alcoholic. So he's mid. 
Oh, no, he's a low life. Because alcoholics, alcoholics invite random colored guys in their car. And they drive. They drive into dingy ass places for cheap fucking beer. They're used to getting fired. Get fired from all his fucking jobs. Says some, so says some homophobic shit on the radio. Get fired. White people employ him to do one simple thing. Back announce music and you can't even do that right in the fucking middle of the night and then he still manages to lose his job that's a low life that's a serious low life and it's a literal low life because it's as short as a midget <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, dog. <laughs> oh, one thing I wanted to mention about uh, Squid Game. Yeah. There was a number on the show, right? Oh, yeah. And apparently that guy, that number belongs to someone. Mm. So he's been getting like 10,000, 15,000 calls a day. Jeez. Yeah. So imagine. there's a number on the show. And that number actually because it's a business belongs card. to someone. Yeah, it's a Whoa. business card to go basically to go there mm. wherever this games are, this <laughs> island where people are housed and to do this like this whole game thing. Mm. So now th- that's where they took that number from that business card that was being sent mm. to these people. And now people call there to wow. go. I want to join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. No, no, no. I'll check it out. Oh, you gotta check it out. It's dope. Definitely. It's on. It's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll definitely check it out. And it's just one season. Like, one season. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Yeah, you can yeah. clap it in two nights. Uh, in closing, did you see the Will Smith interview you did with GQ? Uh uh-uh, uh oh I've seen that's why he was trending. Mm. That picture. What happened? Did you see? <laughs> that's not that picture. I didn't see that. I don't know the interview itself. No, I but in the, the interview picture. he basically said that Jada hasn't been the only one in yeah. entanglements. Yeah. Like they made a conscious decision in their marriage that they're gonna be have an open marriage. But guys it, it's been out there it's that been thing, out though. there. We've said this before. Mm. And that's why I was surprised when people are like, eh, hey, hey, uh Jada August, so I'm like, but they did say, mm. obviously comes as a shock when you now don't know the names, but they did say a while ago that... What do you think of monogamy, though? Monogamy? Yeah. I think monogamy is, 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 is it's, it's perfect. You think it's perfect? It's perfect. I think it's How? perfect. How? How? Because, <clears throat> firstly, let's be honest, anyone with more than one wife, watch hello. Anyone with more than one wife. Watch it. Okay. You can't satisfy four women every day. What do you want to say about For the rest you? of your life? You can. Ask Cat Master. <sighs> oh, you ran away? <laughs> Maybe it's time to satisfy another woman o'clock. <laughs> Cat master, also known as pussy master. (laughs) But like I'm saying, it's not practical to physically, you know, satisfy. Because sometimes you're a guy, you don't even want sex. Now, when are you going to get a day off when you've got three, four ladies, right? And maybe you're 40 something, one is 23, 25. It's not practical for me. You know, monogamy is perfect. I think monogamy what do you works. Think? What do you think, ghost lady? It's not even about the money. I feel like it's it's perfect when both parties want it. Mm. When both parties, but it's yes. painful when it's only one party and the other party wants something else and or wants even more than just you. That's do you guys know how monogamy started? No, no. Adam School and us. Eve. No, it's a Western thing. Started in Europe. School us. So the 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 the, the guys that were in power at the time, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they found that, you know, when you're not in a monogamous relationship, you can never tell who uh, the father is of the baby. Oh. So in order to know for a fact that this is your child, you got to be in a monogamous relationship. Oh. That's how it started. Okay. Because they got to they gotta protect their wealth and stuff. And, you know, that's how uh, arranged marriages started from stuff like that. Okay. Okay. All right. What's your source? Wait, yeah. Uh, let me Google it here. Hi. Hi. My source is Ken Master. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's got the whole source. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the whole source. Ken Master. Yeah. Also known as Heinz. <laughs> <laughs> he's got all the sauce in the world. 
Monogamy, the birth of monogamy, ne? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Because think about it, dog. It's not natural, dog. <laughs> Monogamy is not. Monogamy is natural. It's not, bro. It's not natural. It's not natural, bro. Okay. How? Monogamy is a rule and and, and love is like a feeling. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I love you, that's a feeling. But it doesn't mean because I love you, I must now be in a monogamous relationship. That's why I like what you said, that it's a choice. It's a choice. So is polyandry natural? Yes. Look at the animal structure. Like, do you think a line is monogamous? Of course no, not. No, of course it's not. Yes. But and remember, we, we Macaiva, we're not, we're, we're, not, animals. we're not animals. We are. No, 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 no we are. We're, we're mammals. No, we are not like animals. Other mammal animals, we're mammals. We're animals. Look, look at the history of humankind. We fucked up monogamy. We fucked it up. It's not natural, dog. Yes, it, you know why? It's not because when you are married, you do have, you, you can't get the desire to smash somebody else. Of course. Right? But like I said, monogamy works. It's perfect. It's the right solution. You can't go around smashing everybody while you're married. No, you can't. But do you choose to not Unless you agree with the person. Yeah. Okay. You see, the thing is, bro. Uh, sexual, let, me ask, let me ask you this. Sexual you this. desires. No, let me ask you this. Okay. Why don't you cheat on your woman? Why? Yeah. Because it's just troublesome, bro. Exactly. It's troublesome. Exactly. But you And... As a man... And because... I don't want to inflict that kind of pain that I can't take if it happens to me. Exactly. So that's not your decision. It's because you don't want to inflict pain on your partner. So if your partner said, no, it's fine, you can fuck around, then you wouldn't be inflicting any pain. Mm. And therefore, it now becomes your decision whether or not you want to uh, 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 fuck around or not. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. So naturally, we are not built to be in monogamous relationships. I was asking for an opener. Yeah. And, and it's my opener. Mm. I took it. Do you get what I'm saying? So you use yeah, your other yeah. opener. Sorry, man. Yes. <laughs> what, what was that? I, 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 I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Uh, uh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, here, Reed. Here's the... Here's the All right. When did monogamy start in humans there? Monogamy! You can ask any man why they don't cheat. It's because they don't want to hurt their women. But naturally, when that's did monogamy start what in if humans? There also, people who just say, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to. I just genuinely, I don't have the desire to be with someone else. I like to be with this one that I've chosen. Yeah, you're coming with some other shit. No, it's not. I'm just coming with truth. All right. And know. that's the thing. That's like, because of like society, they push this agenda like men just want to what? Cheat and sleep with every woman on earth and just enjoy their lives. Bro, naturally, according guys, to science, ne, mm-hmm. men release sperm every day. All right. You guys release one egg a month. Yeah. So naturally, where must that sperm go? <laughs> According to science, every day. Yeah, but, yeah, every day. No, no, exactly. But what what happens? You wake up with an erection, with a, an erection, right? Yes. But guess what? It, guess what happens? It goes, right? It falls. Yes. Without, without you having to do anything. Yes, but I'm it saying, is, I'm saying naturally, we are more inclined to want to have more sexual partners, and the reason why people choose monogamy, like he said, is because he doesn't want to hurt his woman. So it's like, it's like, it's like when you're a vegetarian, right? Yeah. It's the right thing to do morally, healthy, uh, healthy wise, you know, it's the mm-hmm. right thing to do. But it doesn't mean the steak is not nice. Of course. It smells good. Yeah. So, so I just said. It's delicious. It's delicious. Yes. You understand? I agree. But are you like, hey, but it does not mean. Eat leaves? No, no, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> you're <not> <laughs> for, <laughs> but you're not forced to eat steak. <laughs> you're not forced to eat but it. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it smells good and looks good. Yes. <laughs> I agree. And then one day... (laughs) (laughs) But remember, you made your choice to eat veggies. You wipe your mouth, you go back over, you're like... (laughs) (laughs) You see, but that's not not monogamy. That's not monogamy. That's just dabbling outside and... uh, Snacking. That's because we're built like that, dog. That's what I'm saying. Monogamy is not natural. It's not, but it's ideal. It works. Monogamy works. It's the right answer. Bro, being a vegetarian is ideal. Are you going to go the rest of your life without eating meat? If that's your choice. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, sh- hey yeah. man. You need to go to Pulukwane for this. Eh? <laughs> Read there. What does it say? All right. When did uh, monogamy start? 
Paleoanthropology and genetic studies <laughs> offer two perspectives on when monogamy evolved in human in the human species. Polyanthropologists offer tentative evidence that monogamy may have evolved very early in human history, whereas genetic studies suggest that monogamy might have evolved much more recently, less than 10,000 to whatever years. Mm. Yes. So we, we, we weren't monogamous from we're inception, not. Yes, from the not. beginning. We were not. Of course. Yeah. Hence, that's why we're animals at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, but we're smart. You see, like, we're smart animals because... Yeah. Lions can't build homes and houses and cars and podcasts and all these things, right? Yeah. yeah. So we can't now um, live to the same standards as lions because we're human beings. We think. Okay, And sure. we know that the ramifications of polygamy, hey, bro, they're tricky. Okay, sure. They Because tr- now you're going to be raising kids that are not even yours if you allow your women to get smashed outside. But that's why... And they come home pregnant because you're in an open relationship. But that's why my point in the beginning, you, you're going back to it. That's why there's monogamous relationships. So you know, okay, cool, that's my son. That's how it started. Beautiful. You know, but if you, look, if you look at the history of humankind, we mm-hmm. fail at it. We suck at it. I mean, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. Beyonce! Be fucking Beyonce! That's why it's ideal... Bill Clinton was getting his dick sucked by that woman. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> it, Mo- no, Mo- yeah. Monica Lewinsky. Monica. Yeah. yeah. Bro, look at what happens in the in the in the UK there. The prince they, they fucking for days. That's why you must take the mon- the idea of a monogamous marriage and own it and make it yours and customize exactly. it. Exactly. That's what Will and Jada did. Okay. Right? And the whole world wants to bash and wants to drag Will. You know what I mean? For, for, for his lady. But let's be, it's unpractical, dog. It is. But. Why, what's, what's wrong? It's the solution that works. Where are you coming from? That's why I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> mo, like, make it work for yourself. Make it work for yourself. Because marriage is a man made idea, right? The idea of procreating is natural. We all do it. Sure. And we're born for that. But sure. to put a ring and live in one house and sleep society. in the same room, that's society that tells us that. Mm. Right? I chat to someone who's a chiller and they literally, she's married um, and she s- sleeps in different bedrooms with her husband sometimes. And that's their marriage and it works like that. And it works. When they want sex with each other, they do. Mm. When they want it outside, they do their thing. Ah. Right? Yeah, and it works. And then... There may be an agreement that, hey, don't go getting pregnant or falling sick mm. or whatever. You know what I mean? And they're happy and it's their thing. It works. It's their arrangement. And more people are getting into that. Yeah, now. some people are married living in different houses. Mm. Yeah. Right? And it works. That's mm. their thing. That's mm. why I have your thing. If you want it to be mainly monogamous, but with and the thing is that strings people attached are not vocal. Clauses. Clauses. They never speak. With claw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you've got clauses <laughs> and some, p- yes, <laughs> clauses. Yeah. No, I'm just saying people never speak because you don't know what arrangements people have in their marriages or their relationships. So who are you talking for when you're saying it's not ideal? It's I'm not. Talking, I'm talking about the history of mankind. All right. It has shown. Like it's all there to see because divorce rates are, are yes, high. Yes, that what this doesn't saying. work. Marriages don't work. Yes, because someone can't remain faithful. That's what he's saying. We created this idea, but we're not executing it the way it's we meant suck to be at executed. It. We okay. suck at it. I'm not and it's right. the idea. Yeah, I'm just saying we suck at it. Oh, okay, and it's 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 unrealistic for us to think the human race should be all like that. Oh no, yeah. of course, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like we'll get there eventually. We'll get I mean, there. just like with sexuality, right? These days, um, there's people who are born of a particular sex but identify as a different sex, and that is now the norm. So mm-hmm. I think we'll get to a point where what you're trying to say will get there, where it's not polygamy per se that you're married to five different women, but within a monogamous relationship, you're allowed to see other people. Okay, let's see. There's there how many niggas in here? There's about five niggas in here. We live in a very in a changing uh, world. Hands up, who's for monogamy? <laughs> Coach. Coach. <laughs> come here and explain yourself, coach. No, 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 no. No, no come, no. come, coach. Why are you for monogamy? Come here. No. Come here, coach. Come, come here, coach. coach. Come here. We coach. need to hear your side. Did you see how Kid Master didn't lift his hands? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't. Hey, Kid. Hey. You feel it, I'm glad you look at it. Why do you believe in monogamy, coach? 
Well, Saul said it. You can't. There are a lot of men out there, as you, as you say, in four, a man with four four wives. Yeah, yeah. yes, four, four wives. Yeah, you, how, how do you do that? It doesn't. Uh, and I, and, and I'm, I'm careful not to offend the polygamists. Yes, ne? yes. But it fucks up your brain as well. Mm. Mm-hmm. How do you balance all of that? You know? That's actually my departure point. Mm. How do you balance all of Thank that? You. I'm not talking sexual and satisfaction and all those things, but just in your mind having to pay attention to all these people and having Thank to you. have that relationship with all of them. Because you said we're animals, right? But animals... I feel like that was a bad decision to ask Coach. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Because, <laughs> <laughs> bro... <laughs> Because, <laughs> <laughs> bro, animals exist. They literally just look for food and mate. That's all they do, right? Which translates to us as looking for food and having sex. That's all they do. They don't have bond. They don't buy houses. Yeah. They don't do. They don't make things. decisions. They don't make decisions. Literally, when you, uh, when. The the, 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 the the offspring is of a certain age that are on their own, mm. right? They don't have all these complex things and decisions to make and everyday life decisions that humans have to. Mm. Now, you can't just live like that. It's impossible. Right. You know what you must watch? Okay, I'm sure you already watch it. Utando Nesim. Msei Lego looks defeated. This season five, you see the guy is just For crying real. every episode. For real. Exactly. Wow. This is a sign where you see it like a ah, shame. Now you feel sorry. Before you used to seem like, yo, this man, hey, with four wives, hey, you're yeah, handling it. But the guy is defeated. If you got it's a war in that home. What about four yeah. side chicks? Four side chicks. Mm. <laughs> you see, <laughs> no, that is cool. That works. <laughs> like when you're snacking, <laughs> you smash and you give it your all. Once a month or whatever, yeah, right? If yeah. that's your vibe, you're cheating, yeah. right? But now, if this is a wife or a second mm. partner and they need the same attention Tension. this one needs, and when this one is horny, you're tired because you've been screwing the whole week. Mm. Someone Yo. is smashing your woman, bro, if you've got exactly. more than two wives, I oh. think. Two, probably, maybe, that's practical, Nyana. More than two, someone is smashing your wife somewhere out You think they're smashing Seleko's wives? Uh, Yo. Yeah. I think someone. I, yeah. Tiko. You know, that's definitely smashing his wife, bro. That sounds like the sound when they're smashing. Or when you're smashing one of his wives, you Anyway, Tim B, so. uh, it's time for some announcements. Oh man, we got so many to get through. Oh, uh, let's start with Ghana. We've Yay! got our winners. There's Ghana! a winner. Yes, yes. yes. We've got winners. Koshle, you're coming with us to Ghana, ne? Please. Yes. Oh, nice yes. One, nice yes. One, nice one. So from the 18th until the 22nd of October, we're out in Ghana. And joining us is Siviwe. Uh, we got Letu underscore Billy mm. and the Disruptor. Why? They won the competition on Epic Concerts. Uh, so congratulations to you guys. We shall see you there. Yeah. See if you was at Cape Town, she's a huge chiller. Is she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me show you her Insta. Oh, wow. I know Sevilla, man. She's a huge chiller. Like, she was there in Cape Town. Oh, for real. Yeah, she's a huge chiller. Sevilla, okay. Sevilla, Sevilla. And they're going to be coming with someone, whether it's a friend or a partner. Yeah. Oh, they've got a plus one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. beautiful. Uh, also, uh, Channel O, our five-part series has come to an end. Uh-huh. But oh. you can tweet at Channel O TV if you want us to come back. Nice. So Dude. just tweet at Channel TV and say, bring back podcast yes. or something. At Channel O TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, uh, 6th of November, save the date. I'm going to have my birthday party. Ooh. Yeah. The 6th yeah. of have November. What? 6th of never- November, yeah. What, about, oh. what are yeah. we doing? Uh, we're going to party, man. No brunch. No, 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 no. I don't want to work on that day. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna no, party. I'm, I'm getting solo retirement. He's gonna DJ. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, well, I've already started. He's this viewer Jack. She's a chiller. Yeah, man. I can't wait, bro. I see why you follow her. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gosh. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> man. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. It's the HR in Ghana, hey? We don't have no problems, man. California, I'm too. I'm trying to see the V way. Yeah, she's a chiller, bro. She's a huge chiller. California, I'm in 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 Hey man, California, I man. Hey, this is why you're, you're always on the phone during the episode. Hey, yeah. No, I'm on the phone because I've got content on the phone, bro. <laughs> and that's your content. No man, she, but she was a cool chiller, oh, super nice, chiller this nice. one. Yeah. Uh, so 6 November, save the date, birthday party. Tickets will be up on Digi Tickets tomorrow morning. Do you know where morning. it's gonna happen? Where's your party gonna happen? Details will come. Okay. Mari, you can reserve seats right now for 6 of November. Hey, man. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's gonna be lit. Uh, also, what else? Oh man, biggest announcement for the day. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Where's my drum roll? You ready, Ghost Lady? I'm yeah. ready. Ladies and gentlemen, uh-huh. boys and girls, yes. Friends of Amstel is back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Cling. Fourth December. It's going down, man. You Fourth know, like December. now we're on level one. Oh, yeah. So the country open. is basically hey. open, you know hey. what I mean? Finally. Uh, yeah. The fourth wave has been postponed. Yay. Yes. 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 Until yes. after elections. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Right so now, Friends of <laughs> Amstel is back, 4th December. Um, Friends of Amstel is a live music experience scheduled for the 4th of December 2021. That's all about reuniting timeless friends through the power of timeless music. And guess who's the headliner, Sol Peluca, this year? Who the Whiskey. Oh, Essence. Oh, Essence. I don't want to know. And also got some massive, massive local artists on the lineup. Listen to this lineup. This is crazy. Yeah. Was, this was my birthday party. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Focalistic. Hey. Deben Gogo. Kamupela. Ooh. Mr. Jazik. Mm. Ah, Oscar Mbo. Yeah, Mbo. Ah, hey. Oscar Mbo. DJ Stokey. Java. Yo. Big Zulu. Yo. Banks. Yo. Venom. Ah. Le Soul. Ah. Jacapo. Me. La Mise. Hey. Lula Cafe. Oh. 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 That's major. Hey, what? they came out. They pulled out all the stops. And opening act, Kid Master. <laughs> <laughs> Opening legs. <laughs> That's all. That's the opening act. <laughs> opening legs. Get the mask. Get, get, what did you do? <laughs> Oh no, we're kidding. He's not on the lineup. Maybe next year, boy. Yeah, next year, boy. <laughs> oh, are you not going to put him on your birthday lineup? Yeah, I, I have oh, to. Okay. Ne? Yeah. <laughs> uh, tickets are now limited. Then they can only be purchased. Oh, tickets are limited and they cannot be purchased. So the only way to secure your seats, mm. uh, all you got to do is buy an Amstel oh. and then dial star 120 star 132 hash and just follow instructions. Oh, wow. So tickets are not for sale. If you want to come through, get yourself an Amstel. Like this one, and then dial one uh, star one twenty star one three two hash and follow instructions. Oh. Uh, furthermore, Amstel would like to reward our chillers by giving them a chance to win a six pack of Amstel every single Monday. Oh. To win, chillers have to make a post on Facebook or Twitter and let us know the pair of local artists that they most want to see together. Oh. So, for example, ah. okay. from that list, which pair do you want to see? Mm. The pair. Mm. That they were the operations, mm-hmm. Jazzic, mm-hmm. and vocalistic. Danko, you ghost lady. The guys will never come. Uh, Devin Gogo mm-hmm. and Gamu. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. So, Don't yeah, call, make sure you make a post on Facebook combo. and Twitter and let us know the pair of local artists that you most want to see together and tag at Podcast with MacG and use the hashtag Friends of Amstel SA. Dope. That's of hashtag Amstel? Friends of Amstel SA. SA. Dope. Wow, man, I can't wait. Dude, that sounds bro. crazy, man. Cheers to kid. that. Oh, and it was like on a global tour now, now, right? Yeah. Like, Can we out also of Nigeria go? or something. Yeah, we're going to. No, we obviously there. We might do a broadcast from there. Oh. Oh. Just waiting for them to confirm. But Dope. Yeah. Dope. We might be there. Not Dope. a branch. Not a branch. No, 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 branch. <laughs> 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 Hey, these branches. Uh, and lastly, yes, yeah, Saul's got a segment that's coming up, yeah? Oh, yeah, which one is this which one? one? Is this which one? one? Yeah, that's so the name of the segment. That's ah! the name, literally. <laughs> which one is this one? You know, I've got friends who make cartoons, yeah. right? So it's going to be an animation segment. Which one is this one? Is it? It's going to be an, a cartoon character just presenting, like, which one is this one stories. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's going to drop on Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah, check it out. Okay.
we're building towards something that will be on the podcast longer, like somewhat of a sitcom. Oh. But we're starting with which one is this one? Yeah, the Pandugas, isn't it? Yeah, the Pandugas. The Pandugas. <laughs> the yeah, Pandugas. Dope, yeah, the, the sitcom. But it's coming up later if this works. Yeah. Oh, so check it out so cool. on Thursday. Yeah. Nice You'll work. see, we'll nice upload work. it. Yeah, and behalf of the team, uh, you know, I never throw anyone under the bus, right? Oh. I gotta apologize for us uploading late last week. Yo. Sure. Like, yo. <sighs> what a mess. Yo. Horrible week, eh? Yo. Yo. Like this week can have can be cancelled, the past week yo if we could, <laughs> and yeah. just restart. Bro, I think I'm gonna start being like you, uh, and just not going on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. have no social like, media. Why, bro? <laughs> hey, bro, the chillers were having but us. But they're very right, dog. But they do right. It's just they're that some right. we fucked up and they must call us out. True, yeah. bro. It's just that some men but hey. you know, ah, like, bro. I told you. I'm, I'm, you Someone know? was just like, "Fuck you, my bitch." Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to the profile. I'm going to the profile. It's a, it's a, it's a fake profile picture. It's a Monica, you know, and anybody can hide behind the Monica. Yeah. Not but, what we fucked up, but what we fucked up. Yeah, bro. true though. We do. And look, I understand because these are the very same people when the podcast is under attack. Yeah. They're the ones, you know, like who yeah. defend and the And they podcast. made the podcast. And they fight. Yes. And they do. I mean, without them, we're not going to be on almost 300K and all of this wouldn't be possible. Mm. So I get it. I get it. So the same vigor and energy they use in defending us, they will use in calling us out. Mm. You know, but hey, some tweets hurt. But they were within their rights. Hence the apology, and we yeah. apologize. Yeah. No, we'll do yeah, better. Definitely. We'll do better. Yeah. Hopefully, straight. this will be up on time. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> huh? I'm saying, hopefully, this episode will be up on time tomorrow. <laughs> no, it should. It will be. It will be. No, it should be. No two ways about it. No, no two ways. people are getting fired. Oh, yes. I'm tired yeah. of being who, the nice guys. Who man. uploads these things? Hey. Hey. Who, who? I don't take shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. People are tweeting me, not Melican Media. As if we're oh. dating R. Kelly. <laughs> you gotta take shit. Yo. Where, where are you taking the shit? Yo. <laughs> but it's fine. I don't throw anyone under the bus. But you just did. No, I don't. Oh. But if I need to. You have to. I Your have uncle's to. got 300. <laughs> you throw all of us under the bus. <laughs> like, uncle. <laughs> hey, my woman. My woman. Come, bring the buses. <laughs> so. No, Manumi, the other one with the high suspension. <laughs> so first, under the bus. Another one with the high suspension. Pat <laughs> Munson is four side checks <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> Inside gets a bus. <laughs> Inside gets a bus. Everybody bus gets a bus. bus. Everybody gets a bus. <laughs> yeah, so Ken will be busy under the bus, busting a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the fucking thing, Oh, man, but on a serious note, we apologize. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. How do you sorry. say sorry in all the languages? Recombra Ferrero, Sacco. Lisa, Sia, Ukolo, 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 something else, man. Ukolo, Ukopatorello, Ukopatorello, eh? Ekes, Yammer, 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 yeah. I love the Yammer, yeah. For school, me, then the 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 Shangan one. Shangani wan nikombela farer nikombela nikombela sang ai that's wrong nikombela nikombela eh nikombela farer i know it's nikombela nikombela yeah nikombela i know in kom is man google it tonga to english yeah tonga just google tonga to english it will pop up the thing where you can put the 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 the, the, the terms this is nikombela so what is that i was in i was in a bush just now hmm like last week, and like I can't believe I can't even. Oh, phrase. Okay. I, what are you saying? You ain't the push, so what no, must happen? Pushback rage. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I heard she was in I'm the push. I'm feeling ashamed. Like I was in, I was, I was there just by a pushback rage. Oh know? yeah. Oh, he tisola. Isn't that I regret myself? I regret yeah. nyasola. Same thing. He tisola. He tisola. So that I f- forgiveness. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So you typed oh forgiveness. I oh. typed we are sorry. Oh yeah, it sounds like yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah, just yeah, that's all. It is all. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it is all. Yeah, but say sorry, Kombela, forgiveness. Yeah, forgiveness. to Google forgiveness. Hmm. Forgiveness. Is, forgiveness is forgiveness. 
Okay, let's go with the solar then. Let's yeah. go with pussy. Pussy? Uh, that's gonna give you a cat. Like, it says pussy. Pussy. Yeah. Oh. Okay, bro, it. enough. <laughs> oh. Let's say cheating. Cat master. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cat master, you're cheating. What's your 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 your, your tongue or name? Or is it Vanda Chitangona? Chitangona. Chitangona. Cat master Chitangona. What's that Vanda? It's Vanda, ne? Chitangona. It's a Vanda surname, ne? Chitangona. Cat master Chitangona. You want to go cheat and corner? Yeah, cheat and corner. Oh, man. We're going to be so much shit because his girlfriend is, is. I'm close to her, man. She's like my friend as well. Hey, man. Oh, we're we're so joking, much shit, right? man. Eh? Yeah. We're but we're joking. joking. We're joking, joking, bro. You don't cheat, man. I love you, cheat, girl. Man. Eh? Eh? Hey, you believe man. in monogamy. You hey, believe in man. monogamy. Hey, man. 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 Oh, that's why they left early. Hey, man. Hey, hey man. man. Hey, man. <laughs> uh, ghost lady, what do you want to say, man? Oh, guys, it's always just peace, love, and happiness. Oh, Thank you so much. Yeah, we love you, man. We're out of here. Peace. Because it's your boom. Boom. Yo, what's happening? Thank you so much, Chillers, for the continued support. Always remember, make sure you subscribe and you like. And also, if you like, you can become a subscriber. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, what is happening? Shout out for your continued support on Podcast and Chill. Make sure you subscribe and like. They subscribe and they like, right? <laughs> oh, that one. All right. Yo, what's happening? Shout out to... No, nah, fuck. Let's go again. Uh, <laughs> me there, nah. To paint me. Yo, what is happening? Shout out. Thank you guys so much for the support. And always remember to subscribe and like. And you can also become a member and subscribe to Patreon and, you know, throw the, the coins a bit. All right, peace. Love you all so much. Last one? Yeah. Yo, thank you guys so much for your fucking continued support. Please remember to subscribe, like, and do all those things. Become a member, a patron if you want to bless us a bit. And, you know, throw the coins that make them dance on the podcast. Peace. Love you so much. <laughs>